Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about the flip view extensions coming from the UNO toolkit. So what this is, is a set of helpers that are available to add some functionality and some features um, utilizing the flip view uh, control coming from, from UNO. And so out of the box, what we're going to be looking at today are the next and previous properties attached properties coming from the flip view extensions. And so basically what this allows you to do is you can attach this property onto anything that inherits from um, any type of button that you have in your application. You can use these to actually drive the, the, the navigation for your flip view to actually flip it to the previous or the next item. Um, and it doesn't have to be part of the actual flip view itself. Now, if we wanted to look at some quick code of what I was talking about, um, we'll look at this little app that I have here that'll be available as a link um, in the description of the video. We are going to have a small uh, flip view here, and we'll give it a name since we're going to need to access it through, uh, through a relative source binding. And it has a few items in it, uh, nothing special. And then what we have below, uh, we actually have two buttons. I'll zoom out, sorry. We actually have two buttons that are defined and each one, so we'll have a previous and we'll have a next attached property set to it coming from these UNO toolkit flip view extensions. And we'll just be giving it uh, a reference to what it's supposed to be controlling for next and for previous, right? So giving it a reference, a uh, binding reference exactly to the flip view that we had defined above. Now, if we were going to look at something like Android, where it has some nice touch, touch support here. So this is our application running now. Um, you see it's a normal flip view that I could swipe and I could drag through uh, as I would normally. But we do have these two buttons down here, uh, previous and next, right? And so if I were to click next, it would actually go forward. And if I would click previous, it would control that flip view and it would uh, perform the, the flip, if you want, uh, for us. And so um, that are, is what is available out of the box with the flip view extensions. We'll build on this sample in a little bit because there are some other cool things that you can uh, you can use from Toolkit to uh, make your experience better with flip views, and we'll cover that in the next video. Um, but yeah, that's the flip view extensions. Uh, just a quick way to build a little um, sliding tutorial app or, or, or carousel or something like that that you might want to build with it. So uh, go out, go check the documentation, go build something cool, and I hope you learn something. So I'll catch you in the next one.